I decided to quit my PhD in artificial intelligence. I was one year into this journey, passionate and immersed in the world of research and academia. However, I still decided to take the leap and focus on my startup, Towards AI, and other projects like this YouTube channel or my podcast. Don't get me wrong, the PhD was a significant chapter and I think it's definitely worth it for many. Yet, my story might resonate with your inner debates and questions like, is a PhD the right path for you? Here's why I decided to drop out. In any case, this is just my story and personal choices. And as someone told me, if you are hesitant about doing a PhD, why not just start? Worst case scenario, you stop. It's much better to try and see what it looks like than to regret it. And it's much better to quote unquote lose one year than four. P.S. Those are not wasted years anyways. You learn and grow a lot. Just to give some context, my journey into the PhD was quite obvious to me. Diving into research seemed like the natural path given my love for AI. I loved my master's degree and wanted to learn more. I even liked writing grant applications and research papers. So it was just the perfect match. But as I was getting deeper, the desire to innovate and create my own thing kept on growing louder within me. During my time in the PhD, my days were rich with reading papers, conducting experiments, and immersing myself in a world of ideas and discovery. The academic environment was definitely nurturing, the collaboration with fellow researchers was inspiring and fun. Yet, a part of me was always looking for a different path. A space where I could fuse theoretical knowledge with real-world application, innovating solutions with immediate impact. My favorite moments in the PhD involve working late at night or in the morning on Towards AI or creating videos during the weekend. Before going deeper into the turning point for me and who I think a PhD is for reflecting back, I'd like to share a very cool tool I've recently discovered that was nice enough to sponsor this episode, Gradient AI a scalable AI cloud platform built for enterprises and developers. Imagine having the power to build custom AI applications, fine-tune models, and generate completions with just a simple API call. I'm personally excited about the platform because it lets you use and build with open source LLMs that offer full ownership, control and customization of my models and data versus using closed source models. Check out Gradient and get $5 free credit to start your fine tuning or RAG journey in one click with the first link below. I value every moment spent in the PhD for the skills honed and the knowledge acquired. My supervisor was just perfect and he still is. And so were my colleagues. It was a melting pot of critical thinking, problem solving and intellectual rigor. All very valuable skills even for the industry. However, the excitement towards entrepreneurship, the lively energy of startup culture and the urgency to create became just irresistible. So why did I quit? It wasn't a rejection of the PhD or the world of academia, but to embrace a different journey. One characterized by immediate innovation, rapid implementation, and the thrill of seeing my own ideas transform into tangible solutions. It was a hard decision to make because I still like the PhD and will highly recommend it, but in the end, it isn't for me right now. Maybe in the future. I definitely think it's relevant for a lot of people. The PhD is perfect for those in love with deep research, those aspiring to be professors and individuals who dream about the idea of spending years working on complex problems hoping to solve them. It's an environment that fosters learning, sharing, and contributing to the vast body of knowledge. I still believe it is more aimed at people who want to work on a specific problem for a long period of time and solve it, and not for people who think of themselves as more generalists, though some may think otherwise. It surely depends on your supervisor and projects. But if you like the pace of a startup, rapid innovation, building practical solutions that will help others in the real world and improve what exists, then perhaps, like me, your path may lie elsewhere. The PhD taught me invaluable skills, proper coding and research practices, enriched my perspective and was a chapter of great growth. I simply found out I was more drawn to quickly bringing my own ideas to life. Have you ever felt stuck choosing between the more methodical, steady world of research and the fast-moving, drafty startup scene? That's exactly what happened to me. 
Also, over time and working for different companies, I discovered that for now I needed to fully own what I work on, if I wanted to be motivated. I thought it might also be interesting to share what was a typical day for me in the PhD for any one of you wondering if it's worth it. I want to warn you that this is only a one-shot example of a PhD with me as the subject, so it may not look like this at all for you, but I guess it should be somewhat similar. Obviously, the day-to-day -day life of a PhD student is very different from one another. For me, the days varied, shifting between reading, coding, and meetings. Some days, I was busy with adapting code to large datasets, other days documenting the code and meetings with my professor. I was balancing intense writing sessions, coding, attending workshops, lots of meetings, brainstorming with colleagues, and relaxing with a game of tennis. Every day was a mix of challenges and learning. Still, the PhD was stressful. Juggling it with my own projects made me feel like I was doing too much, yet not enough. Obviously, most of the stress was self-imposed, but I still felt doing two things halfway. It didn't feel right. The PhD is a lot of work, but if you like it, it is worthwhile. You develop lots of invaluable skills during the PhD that will be useful to your future work, but also for your life in general like problem solving by focusing on the same problem for years, critical thinking to know when to pivot or when to keep digging, managing projects all on your own, structuring your ideas and schedules, and motivating yourself to keep working even when things don't work. If you don't do it, nobody will. And sometimes it's just so new that you can't get much help elsewhere. So you need to learn and do it yourself. Communication and explaining things concisely and clearly is a huge skill you will develop in a PhD thanks to all your team meetings, teacher assistant work, or sharing your knowledge with others, as I mentioned, and by publishing in conferences, something lots of people never develop in their careers. Still, I believe that except for publishing at major conferences, which is also achievable, one can develop all those skills just as effectively, if not more so, in the industry, especially in the startup world. To recap about doing a PhD or not, if you are still questioning yourself to do one or directly go into the industry, I think you should ask yourself a few questions. Are you interested in doing pure research? Are you considering becoming a professor? Do you like to teach and share? If you answer yes to one or most of these, maybe a PhD is for you. It will teach you lots of important skills for your life, as I will discuss later, but it definitely is more for people who love learning and teaching. I've learned a lot from talking with a dozen experts for the podcast, and I want to keep doing that, and the same skills can be acquired directly in the industry from a master's degree or even no prior formal degrees. Also, doing a PhD simply to have the title will not be worth it. Even if the title has great value, if you aim to work at a big company like Google, Meta, or etc., if you don't enjoy the process, you will struggle for years, whereas you could have worked on a few personal projects and gone to the industry directly, where you could do very similar research or build products and earn much more money. It all depends on what you want, but if your goal is to build AI model and work in the field, the PhD might not be worth the four years. It's worth it if you enjoy the whole process, enjoy learning, improving, sharing, and working on useful and long-term projects. In my case, I always try to do what I want and enjoy. And so far now, I decided to pursue my gut feeling and go with the startup world. As I step into this new chapter, I'm excited by the prospect of sharing my journey with you and hope you'll follow it through this channel or my newsletter. By the way, leave a like if this video helps you make a decision. I'd also love to know what you think of the PhD in the comments below. I'm eager to share the projects I'm immersing myself in. We are building lots of things related to AI education at Towards AI, including free and paid courses, our AI tutor that we already released, and many other cool tools I'm already working on and testing for myself that I hope to share with you soon. I'm sure they will be helpful to many of you. If that sounds interesting and you'd like to follow what we build, just subscribe to the channel or my newsletter where I will share all the exciting products, courses and tools we build for our community. Of course, I also mentioned that I want to focus more on YouTube and the podcast. So the paper videos, the interviews and more will also be coming out shortly with hopefully higher and higher quality. Decisions like these are profoundly personal. 
It took me months to talk to many people and think about that for myself. I even took a two weeks break just to think about that. Whether you choose the rigorous path of a PhD or the dynamic world of entrepreneurship, the key is aligning what resonates with your spirit, skills and aspirations. And as I said, you won't lose anything trying. You always learn useful skills. If you are unsure, just give it a shot. If you are not enjoying it anymore, it's okay to step back. If it's not for you, letting it go will be the healthy choice. It reminds me of the sunk cost fallacy, where continuing something just because of the invested time ignoring the prospective costs isn't always the best decision. Time is our most valuable resource, so use it wisely. I hope you'll jump with me on this new journey. Your insights, questions and perspectives are not just welcomed, they are essential for this channel. Whether it is in the comments, DMs on Discord, LinkedIn or by email, I always love reading what you write and I try to answer to everyone. I look forward to sharing more in the near future, and if you are curious to see the unfolding of my projects and innovations, don't forget to subscribe or follow my newsletter. I hope you've enjoyed this special episode that was really important to me and I hope is useful to some of you. Again, I'd love to know what you think of the PhD and if you think it is worth it or not in 2023 or whenever you watch that. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time with more AI content.